Uh, my name is Joel Rafiti and you're watching the AU Review. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Beautiful Sydney day. You've been uh, travelling around the country though. I have been, I have been. Tell us a little bit about your uh, adventures on the road so far. Yeah, so basically um, we're doing this busking tour. So it's Joel Rafiti road tripping. We're taking to the streets, organic from the ground up. So basically through social media I'll be tweeting or Facebooking say an hour before the location or random corner I'm going to be at. And then we start playing and you guys come down. Enjoy it and it's face to face, man. It's really natural and it's good for people to really see it, I guess, in that style. And yeah. how have you found the reaction to be so It far? has been absolutely overwhelming. It's one of the best things that I've ever done in my life by far. Just making people happy on the streets, playing music and getting that reaction. I mean, in Brisbane, we had like a girl that knew all the lyrics to all the songs and she was just there. It was so awesome, dude. Yeah. That's got to be a good feeling. It is. It's amazing. Like, especially like, I guess, as an independent artist to have that kind of reach where someone actually knows your lyrics. It's not something that I've really, I guess, experienced firsthand before. So it was mm. really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, now you're, you're, you're back in Sydney and I know there's a few shows coming up here yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I'm just here for a couple of days. I'm hitting Victoria next week. But the Sydney live dates, I'm doing 21st at the Manly Boat Shed. Um, then the album launch on the 25th at Tatler's in the King's Cross. And 9th of October, I'll be at Brass Monkey Cronulla. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your album. It came out on Friday. It did. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Long time in the making. It has been. It tell, has been. Tell us a little bit about, you know, the, the process behind putting phases together. I guess this is an album that I always wanted to make and had to make, but I just had to develop, I guess, as an artist to get to the point to create it, to go gain those resources and whatnot. Man, there's some tracks in this album that I wrote five years ago. That's how long it's been in my mind. Um, the process was awesome. I hooked up with Dan Antics from Lockup Studios and Reese Sabo, a good mate of mine, an awesome producer. And yeah, we just sat down track by track and went through it from such an organic process in such a beautiful place. Like it's not, it's not straight hip hop that you'd usually expect. It's a lot of live instrumentation involved and a lot of hard work, but it's beautiful and I'm so proud of it. You mentioned the hard work aspect of it. I, mean, yeah. I, I can't imagine it was ever too much of a grind though. Oh man, there's that many opinions in one studio. <laughs> can always be a bit of a grind but in the end I guess just the fusion of everything we created like just Tim Tim on that last single coming into it his style and his folk style and that merging with like the hip-hop street thing that I came from and just the fusion that that created was something that in the moment was just so awesome to experience with the instrumentation side of things yep. you know how did that become a part of your style as opposed to you know a yeah, DJ yeah. and and, and man that, I it. I didn't, I didn't really find hip hop, I guess, till I was 14 or 15 years old. Initially for me, like I grew up old school. I love Frank Sinatra. I love Led Zeppelin. I love Pink Floyd. Mm. But apart from that, the Chili Peppers are my favorite band. I played <laughs> bass for 10 years before anything in a little rock band. So that's something that's really influenced my style a lot. Yeah. Did you ever do a flea ones, onesie when you're on stage? <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, really. Yeah. Same thing. Um, so yeah, the album's now out, you know. Yeah. Tell us, um, you know, tell us what it means to have this, this out into the world. It's awesome. Like, just having something that I created in, in order, in, in my style, and just the whole ensemble of it, and having that as a package for people to see and recognize and have my name to, mm. so they can really see what it's all about and have a listen for themselves. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. And the artwork? The artwork was drawn by a good friend of mine named Neil Troost. Um, I saw it on his Facebook, and I was like, dude, I need that. It's like, it really embodies everything, I guess, from what the album is. Like, Phases, for me, is the title of the album. And, like, Phases is, like, the different, like, the different emotions we go through, I guess, all the time. And for me, I'll get that down by writing it. Mm. So, like, there's jealousy, there's love, there's ambition, there's everything involved. And that's, the artwork definitely represents that for me, so. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the record. Thank you so much. It's great to have it out in the world. And, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see you back here in Sydney very soon. Most definitely. Like. I appreciate it.